Welcome to Understand. In this video, we'll go over Git integration and how it can be seamlessly incorporated into your Understand workflow. Git integration is a convenient and powerful way for Understand users to view commit history and other Git information directly in their source code. With Git integration, you're now able to see who changed or created a file, view version differences side by side, and see commit information all without leaving Understand. Here we have an open source C++ project to start with. If we go to Understand Preferences on a Mac, or this will be under Tools Options if you're on a Windows machine, then we go to Editor Options. Here there's a checkbox option to enable the blame margin in the editor. This is not enabled by default, so let's check the box and enable it. Okay, once we've done that, we can open a file. And now, in the margin of the editor, we can see the initials of everyone that has made changes to this file in Git. A quick and easy way to toggle this option on or off is to click this icon in the editor toolbar. As you can see there. Now from the same options interface, if we expand the editor options and click advanced, scroll all the way down, here there's an option to enable inline blame. Let's press OK. Now when we select any line in a file, we can see who wrote the line of code, when it was written, the corresponding commit message for it, and the commit ID, all in line in the editor, as you can see here. If the information is clipped for any reason, say there's a really long commit message, just hover over the text to reveal all of the Git information Understand has. Like so. The same information is available by simply hovering your mouse over the blame margin if that option is enabled. So let's re-enable that and hover over the blame margin. And here you can see the commit information as well. Note that if we edit this file with these options enabled, we can see what lines changed in the blame margin, as depicted by these orange areas, and the changes show up as uncommitted changes in line. Now, when there is Git information for any given file, you'll also be able to bring it up by looking through the history dropdown in the information browser here. This dropdown will show us every commit in sequential order. Clicking on a commit in the information browser or in the blame margin or by clicking this icon in the editor toolbar, we'll pull up the commit history tab for this file. So in this case, for gtest.cc. Here in the history diff view tab, the file version on the right is the more recent copy, and the version on the left is the older one. So when first opening this tab, we can see our working copy is the file on the right, and the most recent commit is the one on the left. If I've made any changes in my working copy that I'd like to revert, I can just click this icon in the toolbar to move the selected difference to the working copy. So in this case, I added some white space to the working copy, but I'd like to revert that. You can use the arrows in the middle of the toolbar to cycle between all of the file's commits, where the left arrow goes to older commits and the right arrow goes to newer commits. Note that the scroll bar on the right will show where changes have been made between versions as depicted by a light blue color. We can see how many changes were made in this commit and jump to each change by clicking through the arrows on the right side of the toolbar. So here in this commit, we can see that there were six changes made in this file, and we can click the arrows to see what changed. This was a short look at Git integration and Understand. For more information on Git integration or any other tool within Understand, visit support.sidetools.com.